Hello you all, welcome to the channel, welcome to uh, Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Leo Sun, Leo Moon and as well Leo Rising uh, with the general tarot reading March 15th up until March 21st, 2021 <clears throat> and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me uh, or should you want to take my tarot classes you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website where you can view and uh, purchase either or both of these services. So with that being set aside guys, let's move to the uh, Leo reading of uh, the week. And the first card we do have for you, uh, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Two of Cups. <laughs> my end. Um, uh, followed by uh, the uh, Three of Swords here. Afterwards, what we do have, that is going to be the Ace of Swords. And the last one we do have for you, Leo, that will be, uh, this is the Seven of Pentacles. These, uh, these five cards. And, uh, oh, I'm, I'm in quite a week quite of a week. So, um, as the week starts here uh, with the Ten of Swords, now of course, you know, when, when you open any kind of book, you're going to see a very scary kind of like interpretations of the card. But the purpose of the Ten of Swords, Leo, is to kind of like push you forward and uh, as the, the stage or rather like the time came, came about to a point, where you just have to do something about your situation, either in terms of career or either in terms of love. It falls to you to make the tough call, you know, to make the, the irreversible action or to call the irreversible decision out there. And uh, there is no escaping it. That is the moment where pretty much something breaks and you have to make up your mind. You, you, you pretty much have to do something, like I said. But what boils down to with the Ten of Swords, it is that once you do make that very rough call, I will call it that way, there is a new dawn that comes on the horizon. And uh, it's pretty much the, the rough times are going to pass very, very quickly. Um, so, uh, and because I do know the next cards, I do believe that this comes to a call for love. It's kind of like, you know, to me, what it could, what it looks like is deciding whom to be with, you know, or, or how, you know, your interactions with somebody is going to proceed forward, especially having the Three of Swords after that, after the Two of Cups here. Uh, because right after you make that decision with the Two of Cups moving forward, your interactions are going to stabilize here, okay? And that is a confirmation that no matter how tough the decision were to make, no matter how rough the actions that you had to take were as well, then after that, you know, everything falls, I could say, into its place, everything becomes way more harmonious. That is because with the Two of Cups, the, the law pretty much is going to flow into uh, into your environment, into your life. Now, that doesn't have to be an intimate love, although, as it is a general reading, although the Two of Cups, even in general, always speaks about intimacy and, and intimate love. But nonetheless, the partnerships that you're going to have after making that rough call for you, which could be leaving one or another person, which could be as well leaving a job or leaving a project or simply building up something that it was very difficult to build, etc., etc. Two of Cups here points that people are going to cheer you for it, especially those that loves you. But not only that, uh, with the Two of Cups, that card predisposed for a very, I would say, balanced partnerships and cooperations. Unity was the word that I was searching for, a very balanced unity. Uh, what is uh, What are the quirks and the traits of the Two of Cups? It is that there will be no shyness, there will be no pride, there, there will be no heart to catch, but everybody will do their part, everybody will do their, uh, will traverse, if you will, their distance towards you as you are expected to traverse your distance uh, toward them as well. 
and uh, you can expect at that stage of the week almost completely to forget you know what's what you did at the start of it and that's why I think that it is about deciding in between two people because you know you are going to have affinity for either of them and deciding in favor of one or the other I kind of like it, it, it it puts the, um, how can I say, the consequences of that when you decide in favor of the first one, you hurt the second one and vice versa, and that will be the core of the tough call. But at the end of the day, with the Ten of Swords, you can't make everybody happy, right? And uh, the worst about the card, it is that you also go into be unhappy when you are making the choice, but right after that, very quickly after that, this uh, unhappiness is going to vaporize, okay, for a moment at least, because we do have the Three of Swords right after the Two of Cups, and this refers to the negative thoughts of what if, and what could I, what could have, could I, could I have been doing better? What could I? Oh my God, that is so difficult to pronounce. Oh. What could I have done better, right? What could I have done better? And uh, there is no point going back into the past. I mean, you, you only have to look into the future. Whatever you decide in favor of, whatever you did into the Ten of Swords that pretty much pushed you forward toward this new dawn, that it is the Two of Cups, there is no need for you to regret it because whatever you did, that is always going to be the case. What I mean with the negative thoughts that you could have done better, but that's not the case at all. Three of Swords, you know, people interpret it as a, uh, a heartbreaking kind of like circumstances, say breakup, you know, say um, uh, cheating and, and so on and so forth. Uh, but just hold on a second. Hold on a second, I gotta do something very, very quickly, but I'm gonna come back into the reading. Stay tuned. All right, so uh, we were at the back bay at the heartbreaking uh, nature of the Three of Swords. And what was my point here is that you may find your heart broken, it's because you're thinking about a negative stuff, about the regret, for example, that you haven't chose one thing over another, or vice versa. But the point is that whatever choice you made, that was always going to be the case in terms of negative thinking. So you will have to do whatever you can to uh, banish or to muffle that negative thinking, or in other words, to accept that you, how can I say, uh, to accept that you have to make the choice nonetheless. Because like we said at the start of the reading, the choice is rough or the action that you had to make is rough. But the rougher time you have at that point, the, the more poignant the thoughts are, the bigger results the healing from them is going to bring. And it will make you much more determined to, uh, to push forward, okay? Uh, because uh, you will have that awareness of how much you sacrifice to get this far, and therefore it will be pretty much a big shame if you um, leave it to um, if you leave it on a chance if you don't push it as hard as you can and that brings us to the next card which is the ace of swords and that is uh, the moment where you are to start planning your next actions where you are going to have how do you say if you will a conversations with those people of love all right with your new suitor or partner or a business uh, business associate etc etc these are going to be a conversations also with the peripheral uh, individuals which are having somewhat kind of an influence into your situations but what what is going to be the reason of it guys the reason of all that is going to be so you do have an accurate perception and diagnosis on the situation that you are finding yourself at and having to be able to um or being able if you will to uh to have the how can i say the most appropriate plan of action because with the ace of swords when it comes to plan of action it always does refer to somewhat um a little bit, and I'm saying a little bit of a, a drastic attempt, drastic measures, so you can push the things moving forward. And you may ask yourself, well, why do I have to, 
you know, attempt these a little bit of a drastic measures because the ace of swords is where the strength of one's spirit is tested and if you are weak if anybody is weak in spirit they are not up to the task so this it is the moment where you have to show this uh, or have to lean into uh lean toward i'm sorry the strength of your spirit and show what you are capable of show what you are ready to do if you will to proceed with the love that is going to be in front of you and again while it's a very very big chance that that is an intimate love it could be a love toward your job it could be a love toward some kind of a uh, enterprise etc etc and uh, once again i want to stress this one uh, around you should not feel guilty that you did what it is what what, what was needed for you to feel loved right that, that's it's just i i can't even fathom how one can feel bad and guilty that they did something to promote and to develop love within themselves and within their environment but alas uh, what the reading says it is that it's very possible that you will feel guilty that you did something good for yourself and uh, by placing the accurate diagnosis over the situation here the accurate uh, how can i say the true uh, vision over the reality you will see that there is nothing that you should be ashamed for uh, for you, there there is nothing that you should regret about as well but instead you should focus entirely on the future rather than on the past and uh, the last card that we do have here that is going to be the seven of pentacles and this is the stage just before moving forward with your newfound love or with your developing love here and the moment just before that it is the moment where you are going to how can i say well a couple of things uh, the first one it is that you are gonna wait for the right event to happen which by the way is lurking just behind the corner here but while you are waiting the right event for you to happen so you can push forward so you can develop forward your love taurus uh, oh my god taurus leo um i'm sorry i do apologize for that lapsus uh leo um you are going to take the time here to think very carefully how to now because with the seven of pentacles it's very very important that you do approach your situation of love this time around here in a way that you feel uh, good about it and what i mean here is that you should uh, incorporate yourself or participate into it just as much as you do feel that it is reciprocally returned Okay, uh, and uh, because if you do manifest everything you got into it, but you don't see that much of a manifestation from the other side, you will feel bad. And vice versa, if you allow only the other person to manifest into it, but you don't do anything about it, at some point you're going to feel bad about it as well, that you are not giving just as much as they give. Uh, because here with the Seven of Pentacles, there needs to be a balance in between the giving and taking. And at the end of the day, that's what love is. It's the game of giving and taking. And like we said with the Two of Cups, you both need to traverse your own parts into it. It's, it won't happen by, one do the, by, by only the one doing the heavy lifting in it. So yeah, that being said, uh, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, Leo, uh, for... 15th to 21st of March 2021 and if you haven't by that point this week you will have a face-to-face -face meeting with the love itself hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we're gonna see each other next time until then bye